So we're all pulled in, set up here at um, Lake Ray Roberts Johnson Branch. We've been here before. I'm sure there's a vlog on here. We're at site 20 this time though. So here's, uh, well, here's the truck, but right behind us. It's kind of nice. This one too has like a, we've scoped this before. So it's almost like a double pad. So we got plenty of room for the truck and the RV, but then right behind us, I don't know, it's a reservoir of water. I don't, I don't know what it is. But we got the trail that goes right behind us. So that's all right. That's cool with me. Uh, we're gonna, at some point, walk the trails, I'm sure. And we're gonna, I'll have to show you our new chairs that we bought. We were at a camping show and sat on them and we're like, ooh, I kind of like them better than my purple rocker because you kind of sit back a little bit more. I like my purple rocker, but the problem with that is sometimes I don't like sitting upright and we're not using our zero gravity chairs anymore. So this is a good in between, in between them. So kids are up playing at the playground somewhere, I'm sure. All right, so here's our new one. They're like a Papillon-ish type style, but there's the rocker in there. Emma's already chilling in hers. Here's the boy. Yeah, I'll show you. Ow. See, you sit back a little bit. There's nowhere really for your head. I can slouch and we've got a, a stool inside. We can put our feet on. We can bring that out at some point, but you sit back a little bit a lot, you know, it's more comfortable than uh, the purple one in terms of leaning back. If I want to be upright, I could sit on that one. So that would be a good one for the fire pit. You got Topaz sitting outside. Oh, there's my footstool. Yep. Perfect. 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 Too bad it makes too much noise. I probably need WD-40. Oh my gosh, look how dry my knees are. Whoa, those are actually... I got the battle bags pulled out. And some cornhole. Don't know where we're going to put cornhole, though. Figured this would be a good spot right here for the battle bags. Since we don't throw very far, maybe back here we'll... We can put the cornhole back this way or something. Because we can always take down the kitty tent. All kinds of new things in this vlog. If you ever watch our vlogs. So, the chairs, but we also at the store... Um, finally found some... Uh, stacking storage bins for these little skinnier cabinets we have here uh, work great found these at uh, Walmart and so you know they tuck away back there but I still got to go down there and work on that section but obviously we ha I haven't filled them yet but I have them in case I need them a wonderful anniversary dinner Not thank really. you to my beautiful bride of 16 years so it's some uh, kind of carny meat and uh this is our healthy actually minus the chips our pretty our good healthy portion we got some of our salad there's somewhere in there is our peppers i think i got them in the bottom somewhere but who says you can't eat healthy in camp do you say that no how about you can you still eat healthy you betcha Mouthful of carrots. Don't mind the teenager. He's over there somewhere. Look at him staring. Well, <laughs> there is a teenager in the wilderness. He's just a chilling by himself. Well, why everybody's sleeping, I'm going to uh, start working on my organization in here. So we'll see how it goes. So well, here's what I thought. Um, this will be like our nighttime fun things, you know, the glow in the dark things. Up there, I've got um, stuff for when we camp where there's flies. Above that, we'll do like the kitchen y type things, trash bags. And maybe above that one, I'll put like the Ziploc baggies and the wash extra sponges. If you're going to make one for the first aid kit. One for um, bug, bug uh, repellent stuff. I'll do one with sunscreen. And then maybe some more with like miscellaneous things like my hooks and stuff like that. Yeah. Still got to figure out where I want to hang these guys up. I think I might put them over here for their jackets. Man, I love reorganizing. Yeah. All right, so I did move some things around. So I put my 
command hook stuff because we don't probably get to it very often down here. And then move the bug stuff first day. And here's the, I was telling you the fun, we've got more things at home. Now we can bring them out here. Bug spray and that'll be our, because we get access to this a lot and it'll be sunscreen. This is gonna be saved for, to help, uh, you know, it's the essential oils, whoosh, make things smell better. Our baggy storage and then uh, extra scrubbers and we'll get to this every time we get to the camping and then I have an empty one. I'll move the empty one probably like under here or something. Well, we are walking without the boys. We're trying to go find the boys. They took off on their scooters on the paved trail. So we know yeah. they went this way. So we'll eventually find them, I'm sure. They yeah. probably are gonna go all the way to the end, which is, it's a pretty long trail. A three mile trail. Three mile trail, yeah. The scooters are gonna die before they get done. Um, so we're also gonna kind of keep our eye out because I believe uh, another YouTuber is here. Uh, Dude RV, I think, hey, is here. Oh, we found him. Hey, that didn't take long. But Dude RV is here too, so I'm gonna try to find him and say hi and maybe see if he wants to peek his head in on here. Don't remember if I said the color trail we're taking. We're taking the blue. It connects to the orange. And then there's another color off pink. Pink, back to orange, to blue. Kind of all loops together a little bit. So definitely shaded. I could see why when it rains a lot that they would close this off, which is typically whenever we've come to this one, it's always had rain or uh, it was during that time of year, but it's been weird, a weird March, not very much rain at all, which is why we're under a burn ban. Ouch. I could tell you this much, it's not very, oh, here we go. Yeah, it is. Watch out, we got a backer coming. So found a place, at least now I can see it's marked pretty well, so yay. All right, I'm on my way. I'm gonna go see if I can find Dude RV. He's here somewhere. I got a feeling I'll find it. I took the kid's scooter. I don't do it very often, but uh, it's nice to kind of relax and do some reading. I read a little bit this morning after I did all that work. And so now we're just kind of chilling. I uh, wait for this truck to come by here. I don't remember if I showed you. I did get the hammocks up for the kiddos there. Of course, the cats are out. Chilling in the sun. They love it. And the boys are enjoying their lunch, I think. Watch this. Uh, does anybody want to play cornhole or uh, beanbag battles? Uh, cornhole. Last time I said that, no one wanted to play it. Cornhole? Finally finished up my book. Now it's on to book number three. And uh, that's inside the RV and I really don't want to get up to go get it. We've just kind of been lounging around since our walk and hanging out. I haven't found dude's R Dude RV yet. I walked over there. I didn't see anything or I didn't see his rig, but that was earlier. Well, I didn't walk, I rode the scooter. I might need to go back and see if I can find him again. So they're going to go play at the playground here. The, the big one, Hound by the Water. I'll show you here in a sec. I'm passing the car. I don't want to get their license plate. Oh, man, you can feel the nice cold breeze coming off that water. It feels so good. So good. All right, here's their playground. Another one here. That's obviously, we drove to it. Uh, you can walk the paved trail. To get to it as well if you want to make that long walk i chose not to make the long walk so 
Uh, I think we'll go down here by this group picnic pavilion area trees or something. Set up shop with my chair and book. We're getting to check at the main office to see if they had ice cream because last time we camped at Cap Rock, we were supposed to stop at Wichita Falls on the way back home to stay at a KOA. And I knew they had like ice cream there, but we were gonna give them a special treat. But because of the weather, we pushed through. So I ran up to the convenience store, a mile or a couple miles down the road here, got them some ice cream. So um, they don't know. Another night, another movie. This time, why not let them watch Dungeons and Dragons movie, huh? <laughs> so someone's really into it. <laughs> They're getting a kick out of it so far, but we just started it. And I come up here, out by the big picnic areas. Check out the sunrise this morning. It's about ready to peek over that ridge there. On well, a tree line, it's not really a ridge. But... Yeah, and this is, playground's over that way. So, um, should be a beautiful morning. Yeah, there it comes. Decided to take a uh, walk before we pack up and have some lunch. I think we're going to eat before we go. We're going to kind of push it to the end here. Um, no one has our sight after us, so we're going to try to see how it goes waiting a little bit longer. We always say we're going to do it, but then I get antsy and then we leave earlier than what we plan on to win. So, but um, we got a phone call to make here uh, to a friend and then after our walk, and I suppose we'll eat and um, pack up, clean up the RV, and head back home in a little bit. All right, the cats wanted to go for a little walk. Yeah, she got her. And I she think Ani wanted to play beanbag battles with us. <laughs> 